Hello, Vivi. Are you still in bed? Oh, for where? I'm awake. What's up? So what of your guy? My what? Oh, please. Not on his life. <laughs> what happened? Didn't he satisfy you? <laughs> Babes, you can say that again. This one is nothing more than a one-minute man. Mm -hmm. Bad market. Anyway, mine wasn't that bad at all. You know, he took me there twice. <laughs> wow, lucky you. That's relatively better. Anyways, it's time to say goodbye. Call up Empress. Yeah, all right. Hey, get up. What? What do you mean, what? I said get up. I'm bad, man. Look at this idiot. My friend, get up and get your things and get out of here. Get up! I said go. What's what's up? Hey, I'm not going to ask you nicely again. Just pick up your clothes. Okay, don't worry. I can help you do that. Mm. Get going. Pick me up and just leave. Don't let me push you. like us to be friends, okay? We could do this some other time. Oh no. So sorry to disappoint you, darling. But you know, there will never be a next time. I mean, you only do it once and that's it. Hey girls, what's going on here? Nothing unusual, babe. Hey, listen up guys. Listen up. Are you careful? Ah. Oh, thank you, babes. <laughs> okay, I am just going to give all of you a piece of advice. Next time you find such a beautiful opportunity, <laughs> don't let it slip by. I mean, look at these three gorgeous ladies giving themselves to you for free all through the night. <laughs> it's a very rare opportunity. Now, we, you spent the whole night with us and obviously you were unable to satisfy your animalistic desires. Too bad that is all your fault. I mean, it all boils down to your incompetence. So guys, this is where we draw the curtain. So, bye bye. I don't understand these girls. Oh, you don't understand. You know what, dear? Let me break it down for you. You never met us. I mean, we never met, okay? Whatever that happened last night remains in the past. You know, the pleasure thing, huh? It's a past moment of pleasure, okay? You understand now? Okay, <laughs> so guys, it's time to say goodbye. Okay. Uh, Up. Do you have a minute? What for? I mean, can I have a minute of your privacy? If you have anything to say, say it here. I'm Tito by name, so. Tito, the pimp. The pimp, the pimp right? For real. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never knew I'd become this popular on this campus, girls. Oh, please. Notorious, you mean? Yeah, that's the right word. 
Well, um, it's all good. See, uh, Miria, uh, a money back friend of mine came into town from Poland, and this guy is loaded. Do you understand? And he has spent two good nights in dryness. You know what it's like now? No sweet potato to warm the night up with. And today, babe, he has decided to get free himself from the shackles. And you know what? It'll be good for him tonight. Um, believe me, for the pay, he's gonna pay good to get. Wait, who? Who are you referring to? Miriam. Me? <laughs> Miriam, of course you know. <laughs> Tito or whatever it is you call yourself. What did I say to you the last time you came to me with this, your lousy proposal? Oh, uh, Miriam, listen. You only said you were not into married men. But believe me, this guy is not married. He's just free. Listen to me, listen. Tito, for the last time. My amiable friends and I do not sleep with men for money. Do you know why? Because we've got too much to throw around. Enough to feed you and your friend for a lifetime. Two, men don't choose us. We choose our men. Okay? As a matter of fact, Tito, what she is trying to say is that we are not candidates for your practice. So buzz off, get out of here. Listen guy, see there are so many girls on this campus with glutonous appetite. I'm sure they'll make business easier for you. Hey, 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 hey. That's it. He only wanted to ask you for a glass of drink. Mom, that's a lie. That check lied to you and you believed him. God, I can't believe this. It was deliberate, mommy. He tried to touch my boobs. Our vision and Empress saw everything. It's true. It's true Even then, you're not supposed to slap him. I've told you several in Mira. A woman is not supposed to be violent. You should learn to control your temper. That young man could have beaten you up if it was somewhere else. And look at it. You have marred my celebration. My dear, that's okay, that's enough. Hmm? We shouldn't crucify her because, because of her, 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 her mistake. Huh? It's done, it's done. And I've always told you that Mira is still a baby. There you go again. There you go again. I don't like it when you make excuses for her wrongs. Mira is above 18. And that makes her responsible for every action of hers. For heaven's sake, woman, if she's above 18, must we crucify her? Must we kill her? Huh? Is she not our daughter? Is that For goodness sake, is she not our daughter? Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? Oh, take it easy. You're going to hurt me. Um, Mira. 
show your fr friends to the, to the guest room. Okay, then. Right? Daddy, we are going back to school tomorrow morning. But you need some money. Okay, I'll issue a check for 200000 Okay, okay, okay. I'll make it two fifty. dollars Would that be okay? Thanks, Dad. Would you look me up in the morning and pick up the check? Okay. All right, first thing. Mm. Okay, girls, let's go. Bye-bye. Good night. Honey, welcome back. How was the day? Fine. What are you doing here? I'm looking at this, this, this bill. It's like the paints are beginning to wear off so soon. Huh? Hmm. Honey, the paints are not wearing off. Let us paint the other house. Leave this for now. Okay, mm -hmm. if you say so. You didn't go out today? I did. I even held a meeting with the state party chairman. Ah. About your candidature? Mm hmm. You know what? Two people have also indicated interest for the same senatorial seat. Oh. The former governor and the outgoing Senator Martins. Oh. It's going to be tough then. What are your chances? Well, going by my discussion with the party chairman, my chances are very bright, I must say. Okay. And then we must, at that point, make some joyful noise unto the Lord. Psalm 100. That's what I believe in absolutely. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yes, that's a step forward. Yes. Let's hope and pray. Amen. That reminds me, your son called from Canada. Emmanuel? Yes. I hope he's doing fine. Yes. And guess what? What? He just bought a house. That's really splendid. Emmanuel has been quite impressive. Yes. It's just that he doesn't, he doesn't call me. I don't know for what reason. <laughs> Honey, that sounds like the voice of a jealous father. Oh, come on. Come on. I mean, after all, Mirabelle. He's always there calling me every now and then. Mm, so it's balanced. <laughs> Your daughter keeps in touch. My son keeps in touch. You want to make it a draw? It's a draw. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Amano. Oh, yes. You would help me with Dr. Okeke's assignment. I don't think I can make it to school tomorrow. Is everything okay? All right. No problem. Have you eaten today? Um, no. But I'll eat when I get home. Oh, Mono. You are broke, aren't you? Yes, I am. Oh, God. Goodness, will you ever change? Why is it so hard for you to ask for something when you need it? What are friends for? You help me with my academics, you help me at home. How else am I supposed to show appreciation? Mira. For how long am I going to keep bothering you with my problems? Eh? I can't keep doing that forever. You've already done enough for me and my poor mother. Look, spare me that, okay? If I don't do it for you, who will do it? What are friends for? Here, go and eat now. Make sure you come by the house later and pick up some money for your upkeep. Okay? Hey, Larry, how are you doing? Long time, where have you been? Yeah, everywhere, nowhere. It's been a while. So, how are you? I'm okay, oh. Yeah. Listen, I came back to say thank you for the other day. You're an angel. It was nothing. But well, you're welcome. I can see you fully adapted with the system. Yeah. Everything is okay. Um. This is a lecture around the corner. I have to run. Okay. See you around, eh? Yeah. Alright, um, 
Come on, I'll see you later, okay? Right. I gotta go. I got stuff to do. Okay. Later. Right. Make sure you come by the house. And hey, eat something. Yes, ma'am. Hi, Mira. I never meant to badge in on you like I did. I, I'm sorry about that. What was that your name again? Emeka. Emeka? Yes, Emeka. The last time you came to me, what did I say to you? I told you that you should never, ever come close to me, that I don't want to see you around me. I can never go out with you. Uh, actually, that's not what I have come to talk about. Please, can I buy you a lunch? Yes, just a lunch. <laughs> you, buy me lunch. It's not a gimmick. I swear. Just following my mind. Uh, Mary, I don't say no to everything. for you all this while. <laughs> but you're nowhere to be found. I'm so happy to see you again. I mean, can't you remember me? Baby, I'm Matthew. We met three weeks ago at the cinema. I'm sorry, I can't remember that. What? <laughs> but we clicked, you know? Clicked? Oh, yeah. I mean, we kind of agree. Later, we'll spend the night together at um, Liberty City, oh. if you can remember. Hmm. We did? Oh, for sure. Good for you, then. <laughs> I mean, what's funny? Hello. Excuse us, please. <sighs> OK, no problem. You see, I'm sorry if I really embarrassed you, you know. But it's just that. I'm so happy to have seen you again. <laughs> After a very long time. <sighs> no problem. But um, baby, um, hope you don't mind you give me your number so that I can call you some other time. Excuse you me, mind. you heard me, right? I came here to have lunch. So excuse me. Are you deaf? All right, no problem. I'm she sorry, yeah. I'm sorry, ladies. No problem. See you. Honestly, I don't really understand some guys. They're so dumb, you know? What yeah. gives them this, this, this? I mean, yeah. Okay, we're coming in with us. Please, please, we're at the same time. about the past? Don't worry. Take care of the bills. Speedy, I'll be out. Hey, 
Hey boyfriend. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I don't die. Come on. What's in Mira? You are me. Am I mean? <laughs> mean. This Check. guy was trying to impress me. Mm. I want him now. <laughs> do you know? All I just tried to do was, you know, a little humanitarian service. Okay. So I decided to involve other people. Yeah. You know, even the Bible recommends charity. Come you on. know what I'm <laughs> saying, man. <laughs> <laughs> Serves him right. Ah. Do you know what? <laughs> I heard he had only 2,000 naira. Oh so the security God. made him to drop his phone. I don't know if they took his shirt. <laughs> but I wish they collected him with his shoes. <laughs> they were next time when he sees me, before they say, Ra, he will set up. <laughs> <laughs> Serves him right. <laughs> They were even lenient enough not to have stripped him <laughs> naked. Guy! I don't imagine. Mm -hmm. There he comes. Oh, this is yours? Who you. is he? Wow. I said, come on for me. The other time we were together, the faculty, you know, there was this dude you were talking to. Guy. Where? When? At the faculty, of course. You greeted him by one Yoruba name like that, I don't know. Oh, okay, Lanwe. Lanwe, that's his name? Yes. Okay, what about him? Nothing, just a bit curious. I mean, it just, it just crossed my mind and I'm wondering, like, is that your boyfriend? Mira, you and I know I don't skip boyfriends. Oh, okay. I remember what you keep are uh, boy enemies or maybe men friends. Mira, you and I know I don't have a boyfriend. I don't keep one. Oh, okay. I forgot that you keep boy enemies, isn't it? That's not what I mean. I oh, know yeah, that. Right. That's not what I mean. Okay, fine. Just tell me. Tell me everything about him. Well, what do I know about him? He's, in, he's new on campus. Uh, he came in through direct entry. I helped him during his registrations. And since then, we'll be friends. That's all. Is that all? Yeah. No, but I learned his parents are rich. Oh, you know that's not my area of interest. Oh, sorry. Wait, come on, Mira. Seems you like him. <laughs> Mira. You don't want to tell me, Abby. There is nothing to tell. You finally tell me. You know. Come, come on, I hope. I hope you didn't take out the DVD I put in here. I think I need. Sorry, you don't have to look at these things, I've told you, so stop fiddling with them. Yes, madam. I know you don't remember me, do you? No, I'm afraid not. But hey, it's such a pretty face. <laughs> Thanks. Um, well, my name is Mira. I'm a final year student of geology. Larry, second year, geology. Are you serious? Absolutely. <laughs> no way. You mean you're in my department and I haven't seen you all this while? No, that's explicable. 
I did my first year somewhere else and I came here on a D. Uh, I see. So, how are you finding it? <laughs> it's tough. But here I'm tougher, I'll ride through. <laughs> Just give me a little time. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm wondering if you're not busy. I could buy you lunch or something. Let me show you around town. You know what? Let's do this. Um, Hello. Oh, hi, Larry. Let's go. Listen, I'm in the middle of something. Let's go. Okay, hold your horses. Listen, hot idea, but I have to go. I'm afraid I'll lose. manner at which she did it. Oh Jesus, I have never been so embarrassed in my life. And what would possibly be her problem? What else? Jealousy, of course. Hey, hey. lag peeps. Come to think of it, Mira. I mean, what's so special about this Larry guy? I've never heard you talk about a guy the way you do. Or, are you sure that it's not more than having just a piece of the action? For Christ's sake, what are you insinuating? Love? Of course you know me better than that. I don't believe in that crap. A lot of people have said that before. I may end up falling victim of it. Empress, that's enough. Let's talk about something else. I don't want to get upset. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't talk about it again, okay? I won't. Hello, guys! Hello, Hi, baby. Baby. What's up, babe? Guess what? What? We are parting tomorrow. Oh. Wow! And where is the venue? B.I. And who is the host? You know Kevin in my department. Mm -hmm. His younger brother, who just signed up a four-year contract to the tune of 12 million pounds. With a Spanish club. Oh my god! Think about it. And for what of it? So what are we going to do? Come on! 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 Come Wait till I cook now. Join me now. Who cook this me. one? Yeah, I'm just coming in. I don't get time for that kitchen, you know. Oh. What is wrong with you girls? All she I does is uh, eat, uh, you know, feed herself with junk, biscuit and juice. I beg you. Oh. Join me if you want. Anything when you do for this life is my brother, not for your head, though. This one not my studio. They Martin's and Tobaya Anyhow when you depress the code I swear the people they my mental load If you get the money you know get in I saw some people go the best say If you talk you know talk they go say You too talk make you just take your little go Dem mama dem papa Make you not hear me wello wello Guess what I just saw Look It's not rare Wow He's sitting right over there He's here? That's a golden opportunity Come here, girl. Now get it on the job. Good luck. Come on, guys. Hi. Mira. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, so what? Do you know anyone here? I mean, you know the celibate? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, we grew up around the same people. Wow. That's fantastic. I actually know. A friend of mine who knows the celebrant's brother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know that kind of thing. <laughs> so that's why I'm here. Larry, come, 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 come. Tony's around. Who's Tony? Come, buddy, come. Who was that girl? That's the little to what of you telling me. That's how she does. She just walks into a place and just takes him away like that. That was so rude of her. <sighs> God. There she goes. Give me a minute.
don't do them, do them. Some people them sit down for corner, they criticize you. That's why I go on them, all them baggers when they plan make a four, they go see me, they go up higher. Anyhow, where you be, make you know, say, Baba, God, they for your side. Make one of you. Come here, excuse me. Yes? Do you want your brother to teach you any manners at all? I beg your pardon. Huh? You beg my pardon. I can tell you're a very stupid girl. Who are you? Not the know who I am, right? Someone, I am a murderer, that's what I have become. I just killed somebody. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no. But I oh, want you. Okay. Okay. Just. <laughs> Stop saying. She's You just had to put herself together. Yeah, that's exactly what I am doing. I'm trying my best to be there. It's okay. You finally died. Hello? Yes, mommy. I'm fine, thank you. Yes, we are all fine. 
My friends and I here, yeah, we are all in the house. All right. Thank you. But I'm, I'm, I'm all right, Mom. I'm fine. All right. Bye. So what? What did she say? She's writing news. She called to find out if we were all right. God. Did you girls read this paper? That girl was actually Larry's sister and not the girlfriend. Are you serious? Yes, I am. Look. Let me see through. Oh, no, no, no. This is oh, not my God. Should we report the matter to the police? What for? What is wrong with you? Did you understand the paper? That the girl's death still remains a mystery, which means there is no suspect. Huh. Can you imagine to report it to the police? I mean, do you girls think that keeping this thing to ourselves is the safest idea? Oh yes, girl, it is. Okay? We can't turn ourselves in. Besides, the police investigation will just go on for a while and, and everything will be forgotten. I'm finished. I'm not finished. What did I do? Oh hey, girl. It's okay. No, no. It's not. It's not. Put yourself together. What is wrong with you? I can't. Calm down. I killed her. I killed her. Hey, oh hey, God. hey, 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 it's okay. I didn't mean it. It's okay, I didn't mean all right? It. It's all right. No, I can't. I, I, I killed her. I, I, it's okay. wrong with you? Why have you chosen to punish yourself unnecessarily? All for nothing. For the past two days, you have not tested a thing. What do you hope to achieve from all this? Or do you think you can reverse the case? God, you're beginning to piss me off. Mira, please eat your food. When you punish yourself enough, just look at how emaciated you've made yourself. Seriously, I don't like this. So eat your food.
please now hurry i'm tired of standing under the sun please What's up? I'm good. Um, Listen, um, it looks like you could use a little ride, huh? No, not really. You know, my car broke down and um, my mechanic has gone to test running. Oh. It's been fixed, yeah. He'll soon be here. Thanks all the same. Hey, always glad to help, okay? Um, have we met? You know, I was thinking the exact same thing. Um. You're awfully familiar. Mm, are you a student? Yeah, you need like. Yes, I thought as much. I know I've seen the face before. Okay. Wow, I'm a student too. I'm in Unilag. Okay. The name is Vivian. Alara Waji. Okay, nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Absolutely, my pleasure. And you are a very beautiful woman. Oh, thank you. You too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you'll be safe now, okay? Okay, then. Bye. Under the scorching sun, I should. Oh, then you need a cold bath. Yeah, I know that. It is yourself. Lest I forget, Mira, I think I met your guy today. Oh. My, my guy? Larry. Oh, where? Well, my car stopped, you know, he offered me a ride, but I declined. Why? Because I'd already sent for my mechanic. Huh? What else did you discuss with him? Oh, nothing much, girl. Just introduction. He seems a nice guy, girl. You play now? Days that I've got so much to do. <sighs> Hi, Daddy. Yeah, good morning. I'm fine, Dad. Daddy, there's no problem. It's just the car. I mean, it has refused to start. Yes, I, I don't know what to do now. Oh, okay. All right. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Mm, I love you too. Bye. Oh, your dad? My dad. What is he saying? He said I should wait. He's going to send the mechanic over. But babes, I've got lectures. Oh, that means you're staying back. No. I'm going we'll get a cup or something. I have to get to school. Okay, okay. I think I'm still here. Yes, the uh, mirror sky is bad. What's wrong with it? What's that? Oh God, this is really funny. Yesterday was mine, today's is Mira's. <laughs> Maybe this is what this season is all about. Uh, anyway, are you going to school now? Are you yeah, ready yeah, to leave? Go, go, go. Okay, let's just go in your car then. Uh, you girls should just happen. Okay. Bring out the key from the ignition. Okay, okay. But you girls should be very fast because I have an important meeting to attend to, okay? Um, Empress, please, can you just help us with the gate, please? Oh, okay. Please be fast. What's gonna happen? Um, my lecture ends by two o'clock, so 
Same as mine. Uh, mine is for 1 p.m. So, Bells and I'm gonna wait for you guys. That means you have to wait, or we have to wait. Whichever we go together. Oh, so yeah. you forget. But you don't like to go to the end. Yes. 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 Thank you. <laughs> All right, um, um, what are you doing around physical sciences? Are you here? Um, yeah, yeah. I'm in my final statistics. Wow. Well, I'm in geology. Oh, okay. Good. I don't mean to pry, but what's a beautiful woman doing here sitting all alone? Well, I'm waiting for my friends mm -hmm. so that we could go home together. How long is this wait? Uh, less than 60 minutes. One hour. Yeah, you know, I promised them that I was gonna wait. Well, you know, I hate to see a beautiful woman suffer, so <laughs> I'm here for the rescue. There's a joint around the corner. We will crack a couple of cold ones and wait for a while, and once your friend buzz you, I'll bring you back. Hmm? Come on. What do you have to lose? All right. All right. Okay. Let's go. Hey, I got that. I got no, let me just. You're blushing. What? It's you and it's your Larry guy. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, girl. Come on, cheer up. I'm sorry I kept you guys waiting. Sorry. Come on, let's go. Okay? I said I'm sorry. Let's go. Let's go. See. Let's go. When we get home, I mean, we, we can, we can see this out. We are peace. There's no time. I should have seen it coming. I should have known this all this world. I should have known that you were jealous of me. I should have known that you had eyes all over him. And that you were calmly not to say it. Oh, Mira, calm down. I mean, we could talk this over. There is nothing to talk over, Empress. Didn't you witness everything she did? Didn't you see how she shamelessly threw herself at him? Enough of all that, Mira. What is wrong with you? You've been waving and ranting right from the car. What has come over you? I should be asking you that question. What has come over you, Vivian? You know everything I went through because of Lambre, yet you had the effrontery to take your stinking self to him. And you're sitting here telling me what has gone on. Hold it there, Mira. I said, hold it right there. You are taking this too far and you know it. <gasps> Vivian, and what are you going to do about it? Huh? What are you going to do about it, eh? Beat me up. Oh, Mira, please stop. 
You're taking this too far. I mean, you've, 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 you've got to stop. Mira, you have just touched me at a very bad spot. And I bet you, I will drink life to the least. And there is nothing you will do about it. Really? Uh, Vivian, listen. I am waiting for you. Do you understand? I am waiting right here for you. Look at this dirt. Mira, please. I will deal with you. God. You are nothing but just a jokeless bulldog. And I will finish you. It's going to be a fight to finish. Nonsense. Swear you are taking this to me. I will just not just do it again. You witness everything to you. Don't even say a word to me. Do you understand? Mira, what has come over you? I mean, why are you girls fighting yourselves? I said, that's enough! Enough! Oh, so Seriously, I'm just disappointed. Oh, you don't talk to me again, and I'm not kidding about it. You don't! Mira, you're taking this to shut the fuck up! Honey, you're not done yet. I'm almost there. Honey. I can see you're busy. Mm -hmm. Um, what about Mirabel's car? Has it been fixed? Mm, yes. It's just that the mechanic said the engine will have to be worked upon. Engine? That must be serious then. I don't think so. She can still make use of it for some time. Mm. Okay. I'll leave you. I can see you're still very busy. I just need to finish up with this because I must have been here tomorrow. Very important. Okay then. I just came to say good night. Good night, my dear. All right then. Good night. Good night. Hey, baby. Mm. So, what's going on? <laughs> Damn, you look hot. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> so, shall we? Yeah, please. Here we go. Okay. What are the flowers for? Oh, this. You know, I share the same uh, birthday date with my late baby sister. Mm. And we used to buy each other flowers and go out and have fun. Mm. Yeah. Now she's gone, I just, oh, I was thinking, um, maybe I should keep up with the tradition. Buy it for both of us and go late on a grave and stay shut through. I accept my condolence. I'm so sorry about that. So nice. But hey, you're supposed to be saying happy birthday, that's in the family. Okay, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So hey, you want to hang with me today? I'll just cover up my grounds and... No. No, you don't? I'm game. Okay, baby, let's hit the road, huh? We just stopped by our grave and see you should play it. Alright then. Thank 
problem. What's wrong with her? <laughs> None that I know of. Maybe she woke up on the wrong side of the bed, as usual. <laughs> oh, wow. Anyway, the computer packages. You were in the day you were taught. Oh my god, you've said that like a thousand and one times. What is it? Ah, please. Ah, what have I done now? Mira! 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 Hey, babes. What are you doing? It's my sister. I'm not in friends with her now. Vivian, I thought Brother Vivian went out together. Yeah, she dropped me at the gate and drove off. She said she's sleeping out. Mira, I think you girls should make up. Never. Um, however she wants it, I will give it to her. You don't expect me to make the first move. She betrayed me. I don't think so, Mira. The problem was mere misinterpretation. Look, I don't care what you call it. All I know is that Vivian must apologize to me. Mira, the way you girls are talking, I mean, you guys might just end up mortal enemies. I'm really afraid. I promise you, Empress. I promise you that Mira is not going to slack. Hell no. <laughs> I'm equal to this task. But Yeah, who goes there? Oh, Step out my day. jewel! Good day! I'm proud of your beauty. Yes, Daddy. How are you? I'm fine. Good, yes. good, yes. I can see you are also happy today. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, why don't you get something from the free to bring with yourself? Okay, sir. Oh, my God. So, Dad, how is work? Oh, very well, very well. I can see your daddy is a very, very hilarious man. I'm, I'm indeed very happy today. Okay. Very, very clear, I must say. It has happened. No, yes, it has think. happened. <laughs> At last. What? I have been declared this, the flag bearer of a great party. Oh my god, Daddy. Yes. Moreover, uh, this job is produces the next Senate president. That also makes your daddy the next Senate president of the Federal Republic. <laughs> and just for your ideas, mm -hmm. the national executive of my great party has thrown you its weight behind me. Oh my god, Daddy, look, Daddy, oh my god, this is amazing! Wow, I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you very much, my dear. <laughs> You're welcome, Daddy. Yes. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Let's just pop some champagne, no celebration. Well, not yet, until I take you around town and drive. You want to sit on a fish, finish your drink. Don't yes, be the, don't be the hurry. Senate Please. President. Yes, that's, that's your daddy. <laughs> Send it like Graham. Send it like Graham. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what you mean. You yes, yes. deserve it. Yes, um, let me tidy up myself so that uh, we can. Okay. Daddy, I mean. Mommy will be so happy to hear this. Of course she will. You make a choice. Ah, <laughs> yes. Uh, I guess you already had the right answer. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we have the zero. Let's see what which one you will choose.
know what to say, but it was so adorable that I loved you. My dear, I love you too. I really do. I mean, I want to ask you for a favor. I hope you love that. Daddy, anything for you. I want to promise me that everything I told you earlier in the day as regards my achievements and expectations in politics will remain confidential. I promise. And I also want you to promise me that you will call tell your extravagant and carefree attitude because that is capable of bringing my enemies and political enemies close to me to get at me and uh, run a scandal which I wish may not go, go well for me therefore you have to learn to be I mean to live solitary life on campus and it's going to be difficult but you have to do that for me please no more friends be the male or female I will make sure I get your accommodation elsewhere. Dad, I only have two friends which you know about, Vivian and Empress. And they are quite nice girls, you know? Yes. I know your friends. I know them too well. But the situation on ground demands that um, you have to stay alone this time around. In fact, you have to be in communicado until the elections are over. Unless you want your daddy's dream of becoming the next Senate president thwarted and shattered. Oh, Dad, please. Of course you know I will not want that. Okay. That's Don't my... worry. So? I won't let your dreams die. That's my baby. Uh, Mira, just help me, right? By adhering strictly to these instructions. Stay away from anything that will bring about scandal. No matter what. Alright? I'll try. Please, my dear. Eat your food. It's just that it's going to be hard. Living alone. Boring. You like the food? Mm hmm What's up, sexy? Hi, good morning. <laughs> what's up? Hi. Oh, oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> so right. what are you doing standing here all by yourself? Um, I'm waiting for my friend to come out. She's gonna be here any minute. Now. Oh, Malfa, here she comes. Hey. Hello, baby. Oh, what's up? I'm good. Yeah. And Hempress, how are you doing? I'm fine. Good. Come on, love, let's go. Alright. Yeah. 
No, seriously, no, really. seriously, I've not been here before, but I'm always from there. Are you so shocked? I'm very shocked. How can you really? Why? Seriously, I'm from there What's up, you girls? Mira, how are you this morning? I'm alright. Good morning, Mira. Good morning. What's up? I'm sorry, man, I was not, uh, I was still sleeping when you came in. Hi, your mom. Oh, she's fine. She sent her again. Yes. Oh, wow. I appreciate it. Yeah. Is there anything I can help you guys with? What? You? What do you mean, what? <laughs> me? Am I not a human being? Please stop joking. Look at this girl, so. Please tell me what to help you with. Look, I want to work. I've got hands. Come on. Oh, Are you yeah. serious? Oh, my God. Okay then, please help us raise the clothes and spread them on the hand. Uh -huh. That's when you're talking. <laughs> you guys are making me feel like one lazy girl. Uh -huh. See my friend. Uh, what is wrong with me? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full of surprises. What's wrong with me? I'm dry like that. I'm shocked. Sure. No, it's like on time. I am serious. This my friend is surprising me as they did break. Every new things that she don't feel all the time. Seriously, seriously. Oh my god. See you. Should I give me that book? Okay. Let me have Oh. Hello girls. I hope you're back now. Uh, uh, not really. As a matter of fact, I came over to pick up a few clothes of mine. You know, Larry and I are going for a party tomorrow. Do you want to join us? No, thanks. Okay then, let me just go pack my things. this to my sister. No, I'll take you away. Vivian, you, oh, Vivian, you should have done hey, something. Hey, will you shut up? Excuse me, stop this when they get to station and discuss it. Bring her in. You can go.
Kira, are you all right? Oh. Yes, I'm fine. Empress, I have taken a cognitive appraisal at the field between Vivian and I. And I have come to the submission that it is not called for. What a wonderful construction. I mean, this shows that if Graham is not paying your fees in vain. Please, Mrs. Wally Shoenka, talk to me in simple English. Mm -hmm. You must be silly, Empress. You know, what I'm trying to say is this. This thing between Vivian and I, you know, I, I don't think it's necessary. You know, as the saying goes, two wrongs don't make a right. So I just, I'm, I want to end it. Wow, that's my girl. I'm so happy to hear this. Oh, come on. <laughs> I knew oh, you were glad to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, what about Vivian? Do you think she'll be ready for a reconciliation? Of course she will. I'll call her first thing tomorrow morning and then I'll talk to her. Wow. <laughs> All right, then let's meet at Caesars by 7 p.m. All right. You know, just sit down and celebrate. Reunion. <laughs> you know how we do now. No, nope, my treat. I'm hosting <laughs> everything on me. <laughs> Seriously, I'm so excited. Come mm -hmm. on, sis. Keep me a hug again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all right. Wow. I mean, come, we're all grown ups, you know. That's so thoughtful of you. Stop flattering me. Wow. Okay, then. Let's go to bed. All right, I'll be up there. So, babes, for accepting to bury your differences and rekindling the fire of friendship that bounds amongst the three of us. I say thank you, Mira. Thank it's you, right. Vivian. Come on, it's okay. So, let's make a toast. Now to a happy, happy reunion. All right. Cheers. 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 <laughs> and um, to a better understanding and trust. Yeah. Cheers to that. To us. <laughs> um, waiter, please come. I'd like to have a plate of chicken pepper soup. Same here. Uh, honestly, I don't feel like chewing anything. Uh, come on, Vivian. Not on a day like this. <sighs> Remember, whatever we do, we do together. Okay, okay, before you guys stab me to death, a part of the chicken will do. Oh my gosh, what a day. I'm so excited. Yeah. <sighs> Man. I hope you're coming home with us today. Um, no, no, no. I have to go back to my family house and pack my things so as to move back to the house tomorrow. Your family house? Yeah, that's where I've been. We both taught you moved in with Larry. Yeah. Hell no. You see, Larry stays with his family. <laughs> as a matter of fact, we never dated. I was never close to him as I made it look like. <laughs> Everything I did, I did it just to spite Mira. But anyway, all of that is now in the past. The most important thing right now is that we're back together. Yeah? Come on, let's toast to friends forever. Come on, Mira. Let's oh, toast. It's toast, of course. Yeah. Come on, let's yeah. toast. Friends forever? Friends forever. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. And for love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> so, babes. We have to go now. Oh, yeah, sure.
pass and some other documents filed in her car. But I'm sure like every effort was so about it. Look, Doctor, all we want to know, we want to be sure that it is our own Vivian. No, no problem. Let's no just problem. go and see. Going with the bag. I'm going home. I'm going to see my parents. You mean you want to go back to Patakot? Yes. I can't stay here anymore. I can't. Look, I understand America. But look, it's not a good idea. It's barely ten days to our degree exams. You can afford to go back home. You know, Mira. But I can't stay in this house without thinking or feeling Vivian's presence everywhere. It's really hurting. Yeah, it is, it is. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why don't we go to my parents' place? I mean, we could be there for some days. So that way we could, we could still easily get to school. Instead of going home. It's not easy for me to. And we have to be strong, you know, for each other. Why, Vivian? Why, Vivian? Why, Vivian? Just like that. Just All of a sudden, Vivian. Why, Vivian? I can't believe it. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh. Oh God. Why, Vivian? Oh just relax, I'm sure we'll be alright. Okay. I'm here for you. And it's going to be very hard for me as well, you know? It's just... Vivian! Vivian! Go on! Oh my god! It's so bad. Oh, I'm so bad. Oh god. Okay, Vivian. Oh. I'm so bad. Oh! 
only consumed by emotions. And Yaru is the only guy that I have ever fallen in love with. Yet any time I try to get close to him, an obstacle springs up. Apart from jealousy, I also saw Vivian as a risk to my father's political ambition. But I love Vivian. I love Vivian. I love Empress too. I love my friends. I love my family more. I, I love my parents. I love my parents. And oh God, I still love Ladre. Yes. Still love him. I still love him. Mira, are you all right? I mean, you've been behaving strange of late. Okay, okay. Let's go to sleep. Hollywood people will not kill us. Come on, listen this. <laughs> She's done a boob job. Uh, now, look at her before she did the boob job. And this is after the boob job. Yet she's denying it when it's so obvious that she's done it. Oh my god, I like it. Oh, for this. Yes. It looks nice. Can't you honor? Seriously, it's really crazy. What is good about the afternoon? Where is the food now? Madam, the food will soon be ready. Please, please. go and make sure it's ready now. I'm hungry. Very hungry. Oh. Okay, come and see. <laughs> what again? Look, this is a nose job. Oh. And this is before she did the nose job. Oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hollywood people. Hello. Yes, this is Mira. What, what for? Okay. Oh. All right. Hold up. Said his name is Inspector Bello. That we are needed at Central Police Station for questioning over Vivian's death. What for? Anyway, uh, there's that there, there's nothing to get scared of. Um, the police are merely doing their job. Daddy, I don't want to go to the station. Okay, okay. Uh, I suppose I go with you people. Would that be okay? Hmm? What is it they want to ask us? No, it's a normal police routine function. It might be to find out one or two things from you guys. Anyway, um, get dressed up while I pick something from the room. Alright? From the report we gathered, Vivian was last seen in the company of both of you. Is that true? Yes, sir. Yes, um, we were in the restaurant together. What time was that and for how long? About 7 p.m. to about 8.30 p.m. I see. Empress. Sir. I presume you guys were drinking. What kind of drink did you take? took red wine and brandy, but mostly red wine. Mostly red wine. How about meat? Mira and I took two plates of chicken pepper soup, while Vivian took chicken parts. What is the name of the restaurant? It is called Caesar's Place. Caesar's Place. That will be all for now, ladies. And Chief, thank you very much for your patience. Yo, Mr. 
your inspector, please, next time, don't you ever invite my daughter to a place like this for interrogation. If need be, come to my house and conduct it. That's okay, Chief. You are aware of three female Unilag students who came here to drink and one of them died in a ghastly motor accident on her way home. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three of them are regulars here. Good. See, the autopsy report indicates that she must have been poisoned barely an hour before that accident. And that leaves us to the summation that she must have been poisoned while still here. Excuse me, officer, excuse me. Um, are you trying to imply that we are responsible? Not absolutely, not absolutely, manager. You see, we are here to seek your help. You know your workers. Just to help us find out in your own way if any of them was compromised. <laughs> see, um, officer, you see, I have been in this hotel business for more than 25 years now. I know my workers. It's not possible. Such a thing cannot happen here. It's not possible. Uh, I mean, uh, manager. Nothing is impossible. Everybody has a price. Are you following what I'm saying? You see, we have not drawn our conclusions yet. But then we are not trying to leave any stone unturned. So in that case, do we have your support? Okay. Thank you. In that case, this is my card. Call me if something comes up. Okay. We'll be on our way. Okay. Good day. Okay. Thank you. We'll be on our way. She's doing well. We are sorry. I'm particularly very sorry. I mean, I'm sorry about the death of Vivian. It's a big loss to us. You don't know how pained I am. Even Elizabeth, your sister, I'm sorry. They shouldn't have died. It, it, I don't know. It, it's just crazy. I can't imagine. Mira. What is wrong with you? See, Larry, please. Sorry for the embarrassment, okay? Is she okay? Here she is. She'll be all right. She's a little worried. You better take care of her. Mira, seriously, I don't understand you anymore. I mean, you've been behaving strangely after Vivian's death. We all are grieved, yes, but I don't understand why you're letting it get down on you the way you were doing. I'm sorry, Empress. I'm sorry. Just a minute. Hello? Yes, Daddy? Now? Okay, we'll be there in a bit. Alright, bye. Daddy wants us home now. Okay, then let's go.
Do you know this young lady over there? Did you hear what I just told you? Good. Who did I tell you is a target? No, here, take this. This, this is what you're putting on. Whatever thing you're going to say, do you get it? Here, 50,000 more. I'll give you some more when you do this dumb. Do you understand? Please make no mistakes. I beg of you, be careful. Please. Be careful, eh? Mira, why? Why? Daddy, I... I'm sorry. Miss Mirabel Abraham, you are under arrest. For the murder of Miss Vivian Okoso. Oh, sir? Take her away. Oh, God. Ready? Ready? Please take her away. Please don't let him take, take me away. away. Mr. Brown, do that. Chief, in your daughter's confession, she said her reason for killing her friend is because of a young male student by the name Lowry, who she fell in love with. And because he did not reciprocate the love, she saw every girl around him as the reason for his indifference towards her. She also confessed that before now, she unintentionally killed the young man's younger sister in a party, thinking that she was his girlfriend. What? Chief, you mm -hmm. won't believe this. Her friends, Empress and late Vivian, were all witnesses to this crime. So as it is, Empress, will be arrested, detained, and charged for complicity. Empress has gone back to her parents in Port Harcourt. Hmm. We have unleashed our dragnet. There is no hiding place for her. We will fish her out wherever she is. Officer. Yes. Please, can I just see my daughter? Yes, bring Miss Mirabel in immediately. Oh, good. I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm sorry. Mirabel. Kill her, your own blood. 
It's true that what she did was wrong to have killed a fellow human being. But as parents, we owe her the responsibility of protecting her in the face of such hostility. We shouldn't be the ones to cast the first stone. Besides, Mirabelle, I still see her as that baby of yesterday. Please, don't go there. Not again! It's the same statement of yours and your permissiveness that has landed us in this mess now. Favor, are you insinuating that, that? Of course you were. You were, and you know it. What kind of woman were you expecting her to grow into? When you made her believe she can get whatever she desires? When you made her see anybody that tries to correct her as her enemy? Honey, you never allowed us to protect her when we had the opportunity. <laughs> it's true, I'm the presiding judge. But I cannot. I cannot change the law of the land. No. The law is above every individual, including the judge. It is the wish of every parent to see his or her world grow into a better citizen that will contribute meaningfully to the well-being of our society. But nowadays, our children in institutions of higher learning tend to disagree with this great objective. Rather, they see their being there as an opportunity to practice all forms of social vices, such as courtism, prostitution, and so on and so forth. The case at hand is an example of such, where a young girl has virtually turned herself into a serial killer, just because of her uncontrolled emotional feelings for a man which culminated into jealousy and passion to kill. This is my judgment. The accused, Miss Mirabel Graham, having pleaded guilty to all charges leveled against her, is hereby sentenced to life imprisonment. Alongside Miss Helen Ojuku, Miss Empress Odo, in the same vein, is hereby sentenced to 18 months imprisonment for not reporting the killing of Miss Elizabeth Ajayi, a crime she witnessed to the police. She is also accessory to murder. Arise. Court!
I'm sorry.